What's up guys, it's Brock here and I just finished having my morning coffee at Bo's again back here at Ayala in Cebu City and um, it is 1.42 p.m. So I've been doing this like daily film, edit, upload, same day uh, type of schedule. It's getting kind of crazy for me, like losing sleep and everything. Um, I do want to keep uploading every day though, so I'm going to have to try to figure out how I can do two videos in one day or get myself in some kind of a delay. But anyhow, today I am back to the solo travel vlogging. Um, I'm going to go check out the Museo Sugbo, a museum, so I can get some more of the, you know, sort of local Filipino history. Um, since I'm going to be here for a while, I think it would be probably a good idea to learn a little bit more about the country and the history. Hey guys, so I'm here at the Hi. Museo Sugbo, and uh, this is my tour guide for today. Hi guys, my name is Anne, and we'll be your uh, official tour guide for Museo Sugbo. Uh, <laughs> 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 I love your visitors here. Yeah, <laughs> your visitors and come here in Sugbo and enjoy the sightseeing <laughs> and this museum. Hi, and my Hi. name is Rose, and I'm the tour guide here at the museum. <laughs> All right, awesome guys. So this is uh, basically a history museum for yeah, exactly. So it will tell you stories about what Cebu was and is. Okay. So try to check it out, and you will learn a lot of things that you will discover Cebu. And you will love Cebu, definitely. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. So my name is Anne, and I'm actually a student guide from University of San Jose Recoletos. And I'm having my internship in the museum, so these guys are my co-intern. So hey, yeah. hi guys! <laughs> She's also my co-intern as well. She's Shania. Hi. Thank you. So I'll give a brief history of what the what is uh, Museo Sugbo is all about. So this was formerly known as Carcel de Cebu or Cebu Provincial Jail. Mm. So if you're familiar with the Cebu dancing inmates, they're very famous on YouTube worldwide. They were used to be detained in this prison cell. So this was a prison cell for 135 years. Wow. And it was only on August 5, 2008 when it became as a museum. This is actually the provincial museum in Cebu. So these are artifacts that we got from Bantayan Island. These are actually daggers, uh, various iron tools. These are earthen batteries. And this is a clay nut sticker. Basically, it's made from clay. And this is actually a necklace worn by a dead person. And this is an identity that is from the coastal settlement. This is during the New Stone Age or New Lethic period. So since we don't have knives at the time, so we use the stones for cutting. Okay. This may look like a metal, but that's really a stone. That's stone. Yes. And it goes back between 3000 to 1500 BC. So, older than us. <laughs> wow, so this this is actually made that long ago and it's it's still looking like this. Yes, yes, that's exactly. That's incredible. They were already wearing gold jewelries because gold at the time was really very abundant in Cebu. To the point that we were hesitant to exchange our gold jewelry for iron nails because gold at the time is one of our expert finals. Wow, so, but you needed the nails, so... Correct! Then we exchanged it for gold instead. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and over here, this is just a proof that gold was really very abundant. In fact, we use it as well for eye aesthetics. Come closer and you can see their original gold pigments. This is a gold tag teeth and we call it bansil. Uh, basically, this is Filipinos at the time. Uh, they wanted to differentiate themselves from the animals. That's why they put some designs on their teeth. And if you have this type of design, you will be identified that you're from Cebu. Because each province has a different design. And this is the golden taro of Busan. This is actually a 21 karat gold. However, we only have the replica of it. And this is the boat-shaped coffin, by the way. This is used for second burial. This is a boat-shaped coffin. Meaning, if everything is already skeleton, then the bones will be placed inside this boat-shaped coffin. Okay. Uh, it's either in a manunggul jar or this boat-shaped coffin. So the reason why this is a boat-shaped coffin, it's because it was a belief at the time that a soul of a person will pass by a body of water to reach heaven. 
that's what they believe before so that's mm. why this is a boat shaped coffin but this will not be floated in a river this will take place in the thumbnails part of the mountain mm. because they believe that it will go to god in here wow guys <laughs> Okay, this is more about the Spanish colonial guys. So this will tell you stories about uh, when was the time when the Spaniards came and what were the influence that they brought here in Spain. Okay, this was used to be the jail guard's office, by the way. And it was on April 7, 1521, when Magellan arrived in the Philippines, particularly in Cebu. And at that time, we have local king and queen, that was Queen Juana and Raja Humabon. So they were the ones who met Magellan when he arrived. After seven days, they were baptized as the first two Christians in the Philippines. Both of these are original Afghanistan weapon. So uh, the reason why we have it here in the Philippines, it's because during 1800s, there was an Arab traders who reached Hulu. It's in the southern part of the Philippines. And uh, they, have the, they brought this when they went to Hulu. And then a native soldier from Sambuan joined a military expedition and he may have picked them up as a souvenir. For this second floor, we have two galleries. This is Japanese and American. This is Kura, the official currency during Japanese occupation in the Philippines. We also have Shingoto swords used by the Japanese officers. If you're familiar with the Harakiri, so they were oh, using yeah. this for wow. suicide. This ray ban. So this was actually given from a U.S. captain to Captain King Alex because he assisted one. It was actually the first Filipino port captain uh, during Commonwealth in the Philippines. And uh, this is a linotype machine used for printing newspapers at the time. And uh, you can't use it immediately. You need to set it for 550 degrees Fahrenheit before it starts working. First media gallery in Cebu. And everything that you can see are actually all about media. So since we don't have computers at that time, so we use uh, we use typewriters for making newspapers. And uh, this is the Kodak 55th movie film. And the camera. We also have the movie projector. I hope you enjoy and learn something from me. Yeah, thank you so much for, for the tour. You did a great job. Thank and, you so and, much then. And yeah, and guys, um, this isn't even touching the tip of the iceberg for what's actually here in terms of the history and everything that you can see and learn here. So, um, you know, I'm just showing you guys some of the highlights. Definitely come and check it out if you're in Cebu City. Uh, it's really amazing. I'm glad that I checked <laughs> it out and got some of the history here. Um, so I'm walking to get the jeepney. And uh, it's a really nice neighborhood, but some kids were asking me if I wanted to play basketball. Hi! Hi. And uh, I think I'm going to come back and shoot some hoops with them. It's been a long time since I've played any basketball. Uh, so I think that would be a pretty cool idea. It's really great to be in a city where people are so enthusiastic and friendly. And it's just like, it's, it's always good vibes here, so I'm, I'm really happy. Um, I'm going to actually end the vlog early today because I did get a lot of footage from the museum and I want to do my edit and then catch up on sleep tonight uh, because tomorrow I'm actually going to do a fitness day. I've been out of the gym for a little while and I'm feeling the need to, to really do a good workout. So I found like a local um, weightlifting gym as I was going along and kind of marked the location. So I'm going to go check that out. I think I want to do like a back or shoulders workout and then I'm going to try to find this um, basketball court where these kids were asking me to play ball with them and that's another thing I haven't done in years is play basketball but it's really a popular sport in the Philippines so I will give it my best shot and um, all right guys thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting down below I, I'm loving the interaction that we got going and uh, I'll see you guys on the next video peace